So I've got people come up to me and ask me, why are you into rabbit farming? And they've asked me the benefits that I've got from rabbit farming. They've also come up to me and say, I was thinking of starting a farming venture, but I'm finding it hard to choose between different kinds of farming ventures that I can kickstart my farming experience with. So there is this one person that came up to me. He had a conflicting interest between rabbit farming and chicken farming. So he wanted to start a farming venture, but he was not sure whether to go in for rabbit farming or chicken farming. And this is the foundation for doing this video. It may be able to help someone who has this conflicting interest. Maybe they want to join farming, but they are having that conflicting interest between rabbit farming and chicken farming. So guys, in this video, we are going to be exploring the various aspects that will help you make an informed decision or perhaps just gain a deeper understanding of these two popular farming ventures. All these two ventures, rabbit farming and chicken farming, they are quite good. They are popular all over the world. People are making money from rabbit farming. People are making money from chicken farming. So it is going to depend on your priority but in this video we are going to be hinting on the different highlights that may make this decision easier for you so guys let's just jump right into it so now guys let us look at the fundamental differences between these two that is rabbit farming and chicken farming what is the main differences so from my own experience guys both these have unique challenges and different advantages so there is no single one that i will say this is the best option this is a bad option but all i can tell you that all these have unique challenges and different advantages and guys stay tuned as we are going to be breaking this down for you in this video so guys when it comes to economic viability from my own experience from rabbit farming, rabbit farming has some surprising advantages when it comes to this. Because remember, rabbits are known for their high reproduction rates, meaning that with rabbit farming, you're going to be able to accumulate a lot of rabbits within a shortest time possible. Rabbits have a shorter gestation period compared to chickens. So what does this mean? Now I'm going to put it for you in simple terms, guys. What does this mean? We've said that rabbits have a shorter gestation period than chickens, which means that rabbits will be able to reproduce in a shorter time as compared to chicken. Now, in terms of financial terms, it means that you're getting a return on your investment faster when it comes to rabbit farming because you are able to accumulate these rabbits and sell them because they are reproducing very fast, which means that you're re receiving your return on investment in a short period of time. And this is one of the small points where rabbit farming is going to outscore chicken farming in that you can be able to grow your farm much faster with rabbit farming and be able to to receive a return on your investment that you have invested in this rabbit farm much quicker than you would do when it comes to chicken farming then guys let's talk about the meat the meat quality of these two is quite similar rabbit meat is often praised for it's being lean meat, meaning it is low in fats, it is tender, and it is highly recommended by health professionals. But also chicken meat is also popular and it is also widely consumed. It is also white meat, which means it is low in fats, which is also highly recommended by health professionals. So here, when it comes to meat quality, there is no winner here. There is no loser here. Either way you go, it is going to be fine because both rabbit meat and chicken meat, it's very good and highly consumed all over the world. But from my experience with dealing with rabbits, rabbit meat in the market always fetch a high price compared to chicken meat. But that is from my own experience, what I have found out within the market, within this area where I am operating from. But this may differ in different areas but with meat both chicken farming and rabbit farming they have exceptional meat the other thing you're going to look at is the feed efficiency now feed efficiency is very crucial when it comes to farming 
So what is feed efficiency? You may be asking yourself. You may be saying, what do I mean by feed efficiency? Feed efficiency is the rate at which an animal is able to convert the feeds it is taking into meat or body weight. So now guys, remember rabbits are known to be the highly efficient in converting feeds into meat or body weight. So this will make them cost effective. Chickens are also efficient from my experience, but chickens may require more feeds to produce the same amount of meat that the rabbit is going to give you. So guys, this is going to impact your overall operational cost on the farm. Is that for rabbits, you will be able to spend less on feeds to get the same amount of meat from chickens where you have spent more. So this is going to be one of the deal breakers when it comes to choosing between rabbit farming and chicken farming. The other thing guys you should look at is the space requirement. Remember space is very important when it comes to farming. Now from my own experience with rearing rabbits, I can tell you this that rabbit farming typically requires less space compared to chicken farming. You can be able to house a lot of rabbits within a confined space if your space is organized into cages. Now here like on our farm we run a three-tier cage system. So we have we have a top layer of cages, we have a middle layer of cages, then we have the lower layer of cages. So you can see that we are maximizing the use of our space. We don't have a lot of space here on our farm, but we have been able to maximize it. Remember, rabbits can be raised in a compact area, so this makes them suitable to be reared in an urban area. You can just put a rabbit cage just in your backyard or behind your house and be able to raise these rabbits because they do not need a lot of space. Now, compared to chickens, chickens will need far more space to be able to roam around. And if you have limited space or a small space, chicken farming may not be feasible in such an environment. So when you're choosing between these two farming ventures, you should look at the space that you have around your farm or around your home. And this may be one of the deal breakers when it comes to choosing the one you should go for. Then the other aspect we would look at is the environmental impact. This is going to be on the side of how this venger is affecting the environment. So guys, this I can tell you, rabbits will produce less waste compared to the chickens. Remember, rabbits are known for their efficient digestion, which will leave a smaller footprint on the environment. But guys, this will cut across whether you're doing rabbit farming or you're doing chicken farming. The priority should be to always make sure that you minimize the impact to the environment. So make sure that you're using farming practices that will limit the negative impact to the environment that is around you and around your farm. So make sure that you have a good waste management strategy on your farm. Make sure that you're disposing of your waste from your farm in an environmentally cautious manner. So guys, as I told you, both rabbit farming and chicken farming, they come with their own benefits and challenges. So there are other aspects that you can look at. You can look at the disease management for both farming ventures. You can look at the market within your area to see which one commands high demand within your market area. You can also look at the investment. For the investment, from experience, I can tell you rabbit farming will need less than what is needed for chicken farming. Rabbit farming, you can be able to start on a small scale, be able to feed them on local feeds, and you will be able to move. So you will be able to look at different kinds of aspects that will help you make an informed decision. Here in the video, we have been able to cover the major aspects that you can look at if you want to venture into one of these farming ventures. So guys, here the choice between these two ventures will depend on your specific goals, the resources and preferences that you want to accomplish. So guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button on the video, share it with your friends, 
if you have any other comment or suggestion please leave it within our comment section below and as always until next time i'll see you in the next video